Okay, I wanted to quickly just go over. I just wired in a new set of LED lights uh, on my brand new Ferris IS700Z. Um, it's actually got 20 hours on it. I bought it right at the uh, middle of last year, late last year, and, and um, mowed with it last year in 2015. But in 2016, I wanted to have a set of lights. So I went on eBay and bought me a set of lights. Um, I'll show you those here in a second. And then... Um, just got through wiring them in. I've already, you already see tools laying on the on the unit because I've already done it, but I wanted to just walk you through real quick. Again, this is a Ferris IS700Z. Uh, Ferret, it, it, again, it's a brand new mower. Um, it's got 21.2 hours. So um, not very many hours. And um, pretty excited to get these lights uh, up and going. So I'll show you real quickly what I've done so far. Um, so I took a hot wire and came straight off the battery terminal. As you can see right there, I wired it straight into the battery, came off, put it in the wire loom, clear inside of the um, console here. Three bolts come off this console, one, two, and then the third one's on the inside right down here. You take those off, you peel this back. Actually, you take the seat belt off. The seat belt bolts on right down here. And so if you take the seat belt off, then you can just lay this over which makes it really easy to work on. You'll see there's my new switch right here, already wired in. Got a waterproof rocker switch right here. The two wires going to the lights are the white, and the two red wires coming in are the power, coming off the battery. So I put an inner, inner line fuse right here um, between the battery and the switch. So that way if there's too much draw, a short in the system anywhere, it'll, it'll, it'll burn the fuse out before the switch. Um, or it'll burn the fuse out and then I won't have to worry about uh, shorting out anything else. So after I went through there, I put this back and I started a new wire loom right here for the wires going to the lights. So after you get this all done, and by the way, this was a knockout that was already in the mower. As you can see, and there's a part of it right here. I just uh, cut the, knocked it out and then put a piece in there to make sure it fit tight. And the new switch and went from there because the kit from Ferris is really expensive. So here's the new wire loom going down into the frame rail. And I started it right into the frame rail right down there. So you can see it follows it um, and it goes clear down and then it enters into the frame rail right down here by my hand. And it goes clear to the front of the mower where I have already got the lights set up for right now, but I drilled a hole in the front of the, of the frame right down in there. And I brought my wire, you can see the wire loom coming through now. It comes through, I zip tied it to the frame up here. This is actually where the, the, the factory lights are supposed to bolt on. Um, and then I took the wire loom clear over here to the other side so I could have power to both sides. Then I took my common grounds off of both lights and you can see the black wire here. Um, I've got it wired going back to a ground back here to the middle of the frame. Uh, I drill a hole here. And then this one is the same thing. The ground is coming back to a common spot right here. Um, so that way I can go ahead and get those done. Hot wires are already done on both sides. So here's the hot wire connection on this side, hot wire connection on this side. And I went ahead and um, you can see I have uh, um, put on shrink, shrink uh, wrap around all of those. So that way they get a heat sink so we can get uh, shrinked up and, and nice and tight and as waterproof as possible. So anyway, I'll go ahead and show you uh, just real quick how bright these things are once I've already got them done. So of course the lights are on in my garage, but as you can see, when I kick these bad boys on, they are gonna be super bright, and I'm not gonna have any problems seeing in the middle of the night. I probably could have done with one of them, but one looks weird, so I put two. But uh, anyway, I'll put this all back together. There's a couple of pieces. I'm gonna mount the lights. We're actually right here on the front of this piece, right about here, I'll drill my hole on both sides. I'll mount the lights in. This is the floor plate. I just removed it so I can have easy access and put my tools down there where I need to. But anyway, I'll get this all mounted and uh, we'll be all done. But I wanted to show you uh, LED lights on the front of uh, a Ferris zero turn mower. I have the IS700 series and um, you could do this on any of them. I don't think there'd be much difference. Maybe a little bit more wiring depending on the motor you get. But uh, all in all, it's pretty simple. Have a good one. Good luck and uh, mow on.